All right, got some fur 1 by 12 that Jim had brought in, got a good buy on it, ripped it all up with the table saw, cut it into two foot lengths, and then uh, cut that knots out of it, put it in the clamps, clamped it up, and there I am transitioning a lot of stuff back and forth. The uh, clamps uh, will do a good job. Of course, I have to always run it to the planer to get it thickness planed. And then uh, cleaning out the dumpsters and all the vacuum creates lots of dust. I think I emptied that twice. And there's a CNC machine wrapping out all the rings and the, there's the making the, the sides where they're a little thinner in the middle. So they'll hold more water. And then, uh, of course, you get splits in the wood and things that you have to fix as you go by and stabilize it. Cutting out little parts, they go flying everywhere inside that box, and you hear a little thud every now and then. These are kind of a finished uh, kit looking thing, the parts in the middle of it. This is after it's sanded and put together just before the strap goes on it. And uh, there's, of course, the cutouts, scraps, all kinds of uh, different things. I use what I can. This is after it comes right off the machine. It's kind of rough looking. The little dowels are actually cut out of it. Got a shot back on a dust and a silencer, so I don't have to listen to that shot back. There's the kit with all the parts. It needs to be, you know, easily sanded. There are 16 kits there, all ready to hand to the boys, and we started work on them on Wednesday night. This is the finished canteen without any finish on it, and this is uh, with a little stain and a laser burn on it. And uh, there it is with uh, just before we're putting polyurethane uh, wood finish over the top of it. And this is a cut my son made with a canteen. We're putting finish on it. Thanks.